So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to crochet your own Christmas bubbles, ornaments and decorate your sweater with that. Hi, my name is Matilda and welcome back to Miss Matty, the channel where we talk about how to live an awesome and sustainable life. And in today's video, I'm gonna upcycle a jumper from the thrift store into a fun and festive jumper, also known as a Christmas jumper. Although this video might go up now after Christmas because I had not enough time to finish it all before the Christmas festivities this year. If you're watching this just after Christmas, you can still make it and prepare it for next year. Or you can get inspired by the upcycling and make something that works all year round. And before we get into the tutorial, I just want to talk about this Christmas jumper. I actually started on this jumper last year. It's called the Perfect Christmas Jumper. The knit pattern is written by Susan Crawford. I'll link her Ravelry down below if you want to check her out. And it's something I really wanted to do for many years. I looked back at my Ravelry account and I added this one in 2014 in December. And last year was when I decided that I finally gonna, I'm gonna finally make it. In 2017, I finally ordered the yarns, I bought the pattern and around Christmas last year I finally decided to start knitting it. So I started to knit it and then I took a break and didn't take it up until August again and I made a commitment to myself to knit at least one row every day. More than often I did knit way more rows than one row because otherwise this will not be finished. This took many hours of my time but I'm super super proud of myself to take that patience and let the project really evolve with time. So if you want to make a slow Christmas jumper project for like next Christmas I highly recommend this one. But this tutorial that I'm showing you today is a way easier project than knitting this jumper. Uh, I guarantee you that. But if you do want a real challenge, I highly recommend you to get this pattern as well and get started now if you want to have it ready for next year. And without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Before doing anything to my sweaters, I made sure to hand wash them all with my cashmere and wool shampoo. I washed them separately as I wasn't sure if the colors would bleed and I definitely didn't want this white cashmere sweater to be stained. For this project I used a white cashmere jumper from the thrift store, a bunch of scrap yarns in various colors, crochet hooks suitable for the yarn and a yarn or darning needle. To make your Christmas bubble, start by making a magic ring. Insert your hook in chain 3. Crochet one double crochet into ring. Then make 9 more double crochets into ring. 10 double crochets in total. Then slip stitch to join round. In the second round, chain 3, then make 2 double crochets into each stitch all the way around, 20 stitches in total.
and slip stitch to join round. Now it's time for round 3. Start by chaining 1 stitch and then do 1 single crochet into next stitch. Then make 2 single crochets into this next stitch followed by 1 single crochet into the following and repeat these 3 stitches all the way around, 30 stitches in total. Once complete, slip stitch to join round. Now it's time to make the ornament topper. I used a grey yarn for mine but you can use any colour you like for your topper. Start by joining yarn with slip stitch, then chain one and then make three single crochet into each of the following three stitches. Then chain one, turn and make three single crochet. Now it's time to fasten and hide the threads. Make sure to pull the circle closed and then using a darning needle pulling the threads inside the bobble to hide them. When fastening the threads near the ornament topper, tie the yarn of the bobble together with the joined topper yarn. Pull and hide. Make sure to use one of the grey threads to pull towards the middle of the topper, making sure not to cut it off as we will use it to attach it to the jumper later. Then I made two more bright pink bubbles. 3 mustard yellow ones, 3 teal blue ones and 3 baby blue as well as 3 baby pink ones. In total I made 15 bubbles and now I will speed up showing you parts of the process.
Now it's time to make the stars. Start by making a magic ring, then chain 3 and make 9 half double crochets into the ring. Then slip stitch to join round. On the second round, chain 3, then slip stitch into second chain from hook, and then make a half double crochet into the third chain from hook. Then skip next stitch on the circle and slip stitch into the following stitch. This is the star peak. Repeat until you have 5 star peaks in total. Then slip stitch to join and fasten. Then fasten threads making sure to pull circle to close and with a darning needle pull the cast off thread through one of the star peaks. Then leave the tail of yarn as we will use this to attach it to the jumper later. Then I made 10 more stars, 11 in total for my jumper. Here are all the ornaments I made to decorate my jumper with and now it's time to plan the design. For the string I used a black silk yarn from my stash. Before marking where I will crochet the string, I'm planning out the design by testing to lay the yarn in different ways. Then I tested out how it would look together with my ornaments. Once happy with the placement, I used a fabric marker to plan out where the string will go. I decided to crochet my string onto the jumper using slip stitches. I did this by having my yarn on the wrong side of the jumper, pulling it through to the right side, so that I had two loops on the right side and the yarn on the wrong side. Then I pulled the two loops together with my hook as I'm creating the slip stitches. Then to continue I will need to pull my hook through the jumper to pick up a loop to pull through. Take care not to pull too much during take care to not pull too much whilst doing this as you want to create a tension similar to your jumper. Not that I'm speaking from experience or anything here.
If you, like me, have string on the sleeves, put your ball of yarn into the sleeve and then your hand through to direct the yarn towards your hook. If you hold your yarn under where you will pull the yarn through next, the process will be way smoother. And now I'm done creating my string. As you can see, I was a bit uneven with my tension, which created gathering. I'm trying here to smooth it out as much as I can, but what I cannot, I will just call a design feature. Now it's time to properly plan where the ornaments will go. Once I'm happy with the design, I touch them using a safety pin. Then it's time to start attaching the ornaments using the string I left on earlier. I'm doing this by making a couple of stitches until it seems securely attached. Then I tie the yarn on the back and pull in the ends on the back of the string. And now my jumper is done. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Okay. 
Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I really hope you liked it. If you like this video, please hit that like button and share it with a friend who you think might appreciate this upcycling Christmas sweater inspired tutorial. And if you're watching this video and it's not the Christmas season, I actually think you can add the same idea, but instead of doing the Christmas ornaments, you can add flowers and things like that for the spring summer, or you can add um, leaves and little acorns and stuff like that for the autumn season. Or if it's Halloween, you can add spooky little ghosts and pumpkins, so stuff like that. I think you can just use this tutorial as an inspiration and then just add your own twist to it. If you are not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because I will put up the other two tutorials I made of the upcycled sweaters or jumpers in the next couple of days. And if you do not want to miss that, hit that notification bell so you will get notified when those videos are up. And if you want to see any other upcycling and DIY tutorials, I would love to hear from you what you want me to create in 2019. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, hey